Okay guys, today I'm going to do a review of the spring steel pop-up blind. Um, I've been hunting with my little girl and for some reason she cannot be steel. And uh, so I've not had much luck hunting with her because the deer always bust us. They see us before uh, we see them. So I thought about getting this little blind so that we can both get in it so that we can go hunt and actually have a chance of killing the deer. So anyway, I just bought this thing at Academy. Um, 65 inches tall, 54 inches um, shooting width is what this is called, and a 64 inch footprint. Bought it at Academy, spring steel pop-up blind, cost I think about 80 bucks, 80 to 90 bucks. So, let's open it up and see how we can get this thing set up. First I'm going to put my gun down. comes with this little carrying case um, so that if you're going to the woods you can strap this on, walk to the woods with it, shouldn't be a problem. Alright, without further ado, there's a little carrying pouch here and it has the fiberglass rods. These are the dome support rods. There's two of them. Instructions and these are the little anchors. <coughs> okay, and then we unzip the case. Um, pretty convenient. I like that. All right, and so this thing will just simply unfold. Yeah. That's about as easy as it gets, guys. Alright. And then it opens like this. Let me see if I can show you that. It goes from there. To this. And then this little inner part right here comes out. Okay. Now this is the entry door right here. Can you see that? It's got uh, two zippers. There is no floor in the bottom. Um, also, on the entry door there is a little window that you can open so that you can look through this direction. Go around the sides here, and this side is the same as the other three sides. We have uh, an outer zip that has a screen and an inner zip that you can see here. There's two windows on all three sides. Um, These fiberglass rods are mounted under here. And let's see if I can uh, just show you. I'm going to turn the blind on its side so you can at least see how it's how they're installed. Okay, can you see right here? There's some little orange tabs here, and inside the orange tabs are some little pockets. And this tip goes in that pocket, and this tip goes in this pocket. Alright, let me grab the other one. Alright, same way on the other side. This tip goes in this pocket, and this tip goes in this pocket. OK, 
okay? As you can see, then you you use this little tie here. This is kind of aggravating. Use this little tie here to hold them together. Tie a bow. And that will... Now you have a dome to the top of your of your blind. Now, here's one thing that I wanted to show you guys that I made just for this blind. As you can see, this thing is pretty flimsy, uh, and there's no way to rest your gun whenever you're shooting. So, I made this shooting stick, just a V right here, and I've got it self-supporting so that I can. Once I'm inside my blind, I can uh, place it in here, and it'll stand up by itself, so that I'm not leaning it against the the uh, blind. This uh, shooting stick. See if I can demonstrate this. See if I want to shoot out, I can place my rifle on the shooting stick like this for an accurate shot. Um, the height of the shooting stick for this blind is 39 inches. And that gives you a good height to be able to shoot out of. Overall, I think the blind is going to be great. In fact, it's waterproof, so if it starts drizzling on you, uh, you'll be nice and dry in there. it also keep the wind off of you. I don't really have any issues with this blind. Okay, what I'm going to do now is show you the disassembly of the blind. And just so you'll have an idea of how, how long it will take you to get from the deer stand. So first of all, you remove the, you untie the little string that you have at the top of the bows up there. And then you take your fiberglass rods out. Remove those, break those down. Same thing here. Alright. And then the next step is to push this corner back to that corner. Like that. I'm going to go ahead and re-zip this window, this entry door here. Alright, and then this is the tricky part. Basically, the way I like to do it is to grab it right here, and then bend it down, and then twist. So that you end up with this. And then put it back in your carrying case. and then zip it up. <coughs> mm -hmm. Alright, and what's neat is the pouch is on the outside so that you can do this last. Grab your your roof dome fiberglass rods, put in your pouch and your anchors, put in your pouch, velcro, Put it on, grab your gun, you're out. Maybe a minute. Nothing to it. Oh, and don't forget to get your little stand if you have one. <laughs> your shooting stick. Alright, thank y'all for watching.
Y'all have a good one. Happy hunting.